Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and today we are going to punch down a Cat 6A jack. Now let's get to it. Alright, let's take a look here. We have our Keystone jack, we got our cable, we got our 110 tool, our impact tool, we have a palm puck, snips, cable cutters. Now with the impact tool, we're going to use a 110 blade. Okay, so our Cat 6A cable, let's go ahead and strip the jacket off. There we go. Now as you can tell with Cat 6A cable, it is twisted the pairs quite a bit more than your Cat 6, Cat 5E. You have your green pair, your brown pair, your blue pair, orange pair, and you got your center spline here. We're going to go ahead and cut that, remove it. Let's just get that out of the way. Now, with Cat 6A, it's very important that we don't untwist the pairs. Uh, with the jacks and what I mean by that is we need to keep this twist as twisted as possible to the keystone jack to the point we're gonna punch it down so typically you might see a lot of other guys start twisting the pairs here but we're not gonna do that okay so here's our cat 6a jack now this is manufactured by Signamax but we also have the Dynacom ones and as you can tell there's a color code on the back of this your 568A or B. We're going to punch it down to the B pinout which is the more common one nowadays. Now you might want to get yourself a palm puck. Now this tool what this does is this saves you the possibly getting cut on your hand. I've seen some guys punch these down on their hands or they'll punch this down on the wall and it'll leave the little indents on the drywall from the jack so that's definitely an improper way of doing it you get your palm your palm puck you want to go ahead and pop your jack right into it okay so we're gonna punch it down to our 568 B pin out another last thing I do want to mention about this jack is when you have a quality jack you'll notice there are these peaks here in between for each pair now what that does it helps us separate the cable so when you lace your cable in you can go ahead and uh, it, it just separates it for you it's a little labor saver that quality jacks have and it's also uh, another thing you want to look for it it helps with test results instead of undoing all the pairs you go ahead and and push your pair right over this peak and it helps you to go ahead and get a better test result once you put your certifier to it. So like I said we didn't untwist the the pair from the very bottom here what we're gonna do with this peak is we're gonna go ahead and kinda start in the middle take a look at what the B pin out is on the jack And then what we're going to do is we're just going to press the, we're going to loosen the Cat 6A pair a little bit. And with that peak, that helps us separate the pairs. Let's see if I can get a better shot for you guys. There we go. And it helps you push down on the other side. Boom. There we go. It slides in there. That way your cable is as twisted the pair is as twisted as possible that's important when you put your certifier to it after you're done punching it down to get the best possible test results now we're going to do the same thing with the blue pair okay now that we got our jack wired to the 568b pin out what we're going to do with our impact tool is we're going to use the 110 blade we're going to use this side to this side's going to punch down and it's going to cut the outer pair, the part that we don't need. Now for you contractors, if you need several hundred of these jacks for a, a large job site, there is also another tool available that cuts and terminates all the pairs at the same time. Now that allows you to save a lot of labor and time and cost on your job site. In the meantime, we're going to do it with the traditional 110 tool. Now 
Now let's do the green and the blue. Now I know I had the convenience of using the table to punch down the jack on, but the palm tool, like I said, it's just a little helper out in the field when you gotta punch these down. All right, let's go ahead and pop our jack out. We got our cap here, let's put that on. There we go. Now you can use these jacks for wall plates and you can also put them in the keystone patch panels. You can order all this stuff online. Questions, call us. Number here is 888-797-3697.